Hello mates, Orchestore96 here, and we're going to continue our LP of Pokemon Coliseum by battling Lessar, the guy who originally had a Shadow Oriados, but I stole it, so yeah. Don't you just love stealing? If you love stealing and you're a Klepto, then this is the game for you. That and extra dimensional. Anyways, so, sending out Espeon, Espeon, I used to call Espeon Espogeon, I don't know why, I'm weird, and... I called Umbreon, Umbreon, <laughs> no, I'm weird, hey. Anyways, we kick his ass and we move on. Not much to say. You got a, a Rhyhorn, I think he had it last time, I'm not, I don't think, actually, I don't think so. And, yeah, we're moving on. So, so, first, before we move on, we're going to revive my Espeon, because I want to, and, yeah. Let us move on. So now we're going to face the person who we failed to capture, her Granbull, which is great. Actually, this trainer is actually a bit more uh, uh, interesting than the others. Reason being is that she didn't train any of her Pokemon in the time in the last time I was here. I'm serious. She didn't train anything. I don't know what the editors were thinking there, but okay. I mean, it makes my job a hella a hella easier. I mean, none of the other trainers here had, uh, did, uh, didn't train their, po train their Pokemon, but whatever. I capture the Granbull this time, and, yeah. And we kill Vigoroth and, <laughs> uh, blind him. So, yeah, this, I literally don't know what to tell you for this, for this round. I mean, she didn't even train her Pokemon, let alone change any of her moves, so. You really shouldn't have any type of problems with her, uh, around the levels that you should be on. So, just, I don't know what to tell you on that match. I'm sorry. I don't know. Unprofessional, yes. But, I mean, what can I say? She, the only thing, you know, that's enough. Moving on. We're going to capture the Shadow Pokemon that I was originally going to capture, but failed miserably, and use it as a team member, but failed miserably. And now I caught it, and we're going to take her out, and we're going to move on. Now, anyways, moving on, going back to the area where Captain Eisen was, and uh, we're going, now, this trainer, the one, I'm going to be ob obviously, the one with the Shadow Bay Leaf, is fairly challenging, actually. He's more over-leveled than the last person, Bruno, I think, Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. <laughs> My name's Bruno, My name's Bruno, I don't know <laughs> he does, it. that's so weird. Uh, that movie was fucked up. Anyways, so, um, yeah. He's a lot, he's actually a bit more stronger. Verdi, uh, the Cypher Peon. So, capture Bayleaf, well, you don't have to capture it right away. I, I would, because, you know, Bayleaf. Is it Bayleaf? I don't, I don't know, I would just capture it. God, I mean, why else are you here? If you fail to capture this Pokemon, or Bluno, I think they'll be here again. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what happens once you fail to capture a Pokemon. I'm not sure. I think one, if uh, you fail to capture the first Pokemon, the first, the second Shadow Pokemon that you ever try to capture in this game, and you fail again back at the real game tower, you can try again at Fennec, Fennec Coliseum? Fennec Coliseum? I'm probably wrong. Correct me if I am. I would actually like to know. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, so we captured Bayleaf with no effort whatsoever, but, you know, at this point of the game, you don't really need any effort. This part of the game is actually a bit boring, even I have to say. We got the Master Ball, and there's not that many more trainers to battle. The only interesting part in the end of the game here is that you can trade Pokemon from your Game Boy Color game, Game Boy Advance games, excuse me, using an accessory that connects the Game Boy uh, Advance to the GameCube, of course. And, uh, oh, how to do the how to trade them is, I guess I can mention it now. Going to Fennec City uh, Pokemon Center, going downstairs, you see someone, talk to her, make sure you have an accessory that links to the Game Boy Advance, along with a copy of a third generation game, and trade! Make sure your Pokemon in the both games are in your party. That's it. So, I guess I'm going to end it here, because, well, we're pretty much done with the Pokemon Shadow Lab, the Shadow Pokemon Lab, so... I guess I'll see you later, mates. See you in the next part. Bye.